pretty you good. You know what's weird? I've gone down this uh, rabbit hole while I'm doing editing, setting up my new website. Anyway, I'm just working in the office. I've been watching Survivor, right? They put two <laughs> seasons on Netflix, and I what watched the, the two seasons. I watched the two seasons within like four days. Because I just binge while I just had them on while I was working, wow. and then I got hooked. So my my sister's like, "Yeah, you can have my CBS All Access thing. They have forty seasons. I didn't know there's that many seasons. Forty what? seasons. And so I was like, well, maybe I'll just start with season one, dude. It's unwatchable how bad it is. It's just like <laughs> none of it's, it. The production sucks. Like it's just not good. And it doesn't even look like Survivor. Like the other seasons I watched, I was like. Let's skip ahead a little bit, but I started watching. <laughs> I would start watching them. Even season eight is in two thousand and four. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is still wow. almost twenty years ago." Anyway, that's crazy. Yeah, Same, like standard definition. Yeah, the, no, it's, square. It is, it's just the square. You have the black wow. lines on the side. Yeah, it's crazy. I never got into it until like last year, and then I started watching some of the older seasons with my kids and wife. They really liked it, and hmm. I got into it a little bit. It's, it wasn't that bad. It was fun. Um, I expected a lot worse than what it was. Yeah, I never did watch it. I started watching Alone recently. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's where good. they're actually alone. Yeah, those it's ones pretty are pretty crazy. good. I started from the beginning. I'm on like season two now. Are you? Yeah, the, the first and second season are some of the best ones. They're they're mm-hmm. really good. I we started watching boring like later in the season because there's like less happening. Because I'm like, all yeah. right, all of the action is up front where everybody's scared. And then all the people that are scared go away. And then the guys are like, well, I don't know. Whichever one of us is going to last longest without going crazy, I guess. That's the <laughs> rest of the show. the most fish. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. I started watching the one because uh, Joe Rogan interviewed that guy that yeah, was in that's the Yeah, that's when I, think I he started. Won. Yeah, because yeah. that was the He was on like first... season six or something. He got a moose, but I haven't mm-hmm. seen that one yet. I'm no, it's those. pretty. that guy's pretty cool. Like you yeah. actually watch it, you're like, Wow, this guy uh, knows his crap. And yeah, I mean, you you watch the or listen to the podcast, and you know that this guy's like super legit and right. stuff. But the one thing he was talking about that wasn't part of the actual show is when that winner was up in like Siberia or something like that. In like, mm-hmm. isn't Siberia in Russia? I'm yeah, pretty sure. He was up in Russia, and he was by himself for like, oh, I want to say forty five days or something like that, doing something. But he was with that, and he had, like, up there, apparently they ride reindeer and, like, mm-hmm. stuff that's, like, a legit thing. Is that back up in Russia, they have reindeer, and they ride them like horses. <laughs> like, they've had – they actually, like, have domesticated these reindeer, right? And they can't actually crossbreed or, like, let them – they don't know how – they domesticate them so long ago. They don't know how to re-domesticate wild ones anymore. So they have to keep the population they have domesticated or they're, they're, they don't know how to basically get the wild the ones domesticated. Anyway, huh. he was talking about it. He was like 45 days, so I was by myself. He's like, I was walking. It was just, you know, snow everywhere. And the sun started coming up, and I was like, wow. And he, he's like, I scared myself because it was the first time I talked in like two weeks. Yeah, because I was by myself. I just don't talk. You're just in your head all the time. And I actually said "wow" out loud, and it scared me. It's like, oh, dude, can you imagine? <laughs> right? Like, I can't be by myself for like two days, and I'm like, oh, this is. I'm driving myself crazy. Right. And being by yourself for like two weeks or three weeks, it'd be nuts. Yeah, like I said, I haven't watched that one. I'm assuming the longer, the more seasons they do, the better it's gonna be or like the the guys that are on it are probably gonna be better i don't know but yeah that guy's i think on that one they were out there for like months he was out there for like i think 87 days or something like that he's by himself no thanks that's crazy i'm still stuck on the reindeer thing yeah it's extremely interesting and i want to see it and (laughs) i feel like that is the most badass thing I've heard in a while, but yeah, yeah. for some reason, like I, I guarantee, like us Americans would have a problem with that, and that sort uh, of never happened here. Right. But that would now, be really cool if that's like a normal it's thing. The Russian thing. They're like, you <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember. I could be <laughs> totally wrong reindeer. now. I know that they domesticate the reindeer. Now that I say, because I've seen a reindeer and they're pretty freaking small. Now that I said they ride them, I'm not sure if they ride them. <laughs> but now I'm like, you know, in my going to set. but they use them for like like as donkeys you know like donkeys pack yeah, things yeah. i think that's what they do like llamas and stuff in Makes my sense. head everybody was the size of that that one guy in lord of the rings you know the little one <laughs> yeah they're all dwarves oh, man. that's awesome yeah 
<laughs> I've been uh, speaking of Rogan. I've been listening to uh, Jocko. He's had him on several times. The ex Navy mm-hmm. SEAL. Yeah. I've been listening to the audio book of his um, uh, Extreme Ownership, mm-hmm. and that's really good. So no podcast and stuff here lately for me. I've just been listening to that, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it's great so far. Yeah, it's I need on my to list. listen to more audio books. I did a few, and then I just like forgot about it. I think I even have Audible, and I still <laughs> have my like issues. free downloads, and I just haven't used yeah. them. My issue is it's just expensive. It's more expensive than the normal book. It's like you're paying is like, it? yeah, like, so I have, uh, whenever I want to listen to an audiobook, I just create a new email because you get a free <laughs> book. <laughs> it's like the a, Columbia House Records all over again. Dude, so I literally, it's $25 to buy an audiobook. It's like, that's more expensive well, that's, than like a normal doesn't book. doesn't sound accurate. Yeah, I know, but that's true though. And it's like then if you do like the monthly thing where you pay Audible per yeah, month, that's what you I still do. you pay them fifteen or twenty bucks a month, and you get one download a month, like one book a month. I'm like, yeah. I don't. That doesn't seem like it's worth it. But anyway, I started listening to uh, David Goggins' book, and I love that book. I think it's Can't Hurt Me, and um, that's great. See the runner, they like the extreme runner. Yeah, he's yeah. a Navy SEAL, and yeah. Um, yeah, he was like 300 pounds, and he lost yeah. to get into He's the, the one Navy. on his Instagram, it's just his watch, isn't that him? No, that's yeah. Jocko. That's, that's Jocko. Oh, that's Jocko? That's Jocko. Oh, okay. I'm getting mixed up, I'm No, sorry. David Goggins is like the guy that... Um, yeah, so you know, stay like, hard, mother... Yeah, that's what he is. <laughs> yeah, he's he's running, and then he, he'll just like talk, or like hit somebody's like driving in a car next to him, and he's just like, dude, he'll give you like a pump-up speech while he's running he's like on his 13th mile or whatever and at the end of this like one minute video on instagram you want to run through a brick wall you're like yeah dude i'm yeah. pumped <laughs> and it's it's he's he's awesome though it's his book's start, really good i'm gonna start doing my woodworking like that <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> randomly in youtube videos i'm just gonna turn to the camera and start giving a heck of a speech start you know, screaming i like it i like it <laughs> well speaking of the shop anybody done anything this week um yeah, I did today. So you organized, yep. right? I saw that you went. Yeah, through. that was my other shop, the one because I'm. I finally brought the motor home for my um, truck that I'm building, and so I got to have a space to build the motor. So I cleaned out the other shop, which has no electricity. So I'm gonna have to run electricity to that and uh, get working on that. But I also did the wood for our headboard because um, we got a new bed. We got one of those dream clouds, like bed in a box thing. Oh yeah, how yeah. was it? It's good. Well, I mean, it's way better than what we had. Actually, the cool. one I had was a Sealy Posture Pedic or whatever, so it was good, but it was like 10 years old, so it was worn out. <clears throat> and we had like one of those mattress toppers on it, the memory foam ones, and it was too soft for me, but this thing's pretty good. Plus, it's a king size, and our other one was queen, mm. so it's nice. So nice. this is just, just going to be do the like headboard a, and attach it right to the wall. Yeah, like like a like shiplap, basically but it's just alder stained. So it'll be on the wall, and then I'm doing floating uh, nightstands on the sides with a drawer. That's cool. Nice. Are you, so you were talking to us. Are you going to pocket hole it together, or are you going to just like put slats in the back and just screw them all to the slats? I think I'm just going to screw the boards to the wall. Just straight to the wall? Scott, I was talking to Scott from Get Off the Couch. Uh, what is his last? What is that? Get Off the Couch yeah. Woodworks? Or what? see i'm horrible designs i think Uh, yeah it is designs anyway he did like ship lab and stuff and he said what i was originally thinking is what he did like just use like construction adhesive and then brad nail it to the studs like with long brad nails but Mm. better make sure you don't ever want to come off i guess or you'll be doing drywall work yeah you kind (laughs) of destroy your drywall yeah so i think i might just use like finished screws finished screws or something there's no way I could do that. My wife moves around furniture in our house so much, oh, dude, that it's like we put it like, up every like, time. You know every like two weeks, I come home and the whole house is like new. I'm like yeah, what? Is I would that, definitely not. Why is the couch in the kitchen? I, don't understand. I would not use some uh, <laughs> liquid nails or anything to your drywall. I don't think that's right. going to go over very well. No, I know. No. I've done a lot of shiplap. I've never used anything like that other than just the finished nails and the studs. Yeah, and I've never had any problems. That's what mm. we do. Yeah. I mean, if it starts to come off, just use another finish nail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah the only <laughs> thing that I'm thinking is <laughs> just this is put not, a couple more in there. <laughs> this isn't like locked together. It's just regular four quarter wood. So I don't know right. if it'll. I don't want it to be like, you know, parts lifting no. and whatever. That's what I use when I do when I do quote unquote shiplap. I don't know. I get hell about it all the time when I call it shiplap. 
Um, but I just use like one by sixes and mm. I use tile spacers to space them out. Mm. And that's what I don't use the, like the interlocking boards there. Oh really? When, no, when walls start getting all wavy and janky and stuff, those, when those tongue of groove just become too hard to get together sometimes. Uh, so I just buy pre-primed one by sixes and use those mm. tile spacers. Nice. It's a cheap way. Yeah. To yeah. I mean, it's great. The ship lobs should just be like a overlap lip. Yeah. It shouldn't be like a tongue, tongue and groove. groove. Um, so you can do the tongue and groove ones aren't technically ship lab, but the ship lab. Yeah. So it's like one side will divot down and the other side will divot up, but they gotcha. don't actually yeah, interlock. Yeah, yeah. They just kind of lay on top of each other. Right. We use that all the time. We've done it on, we did a whole, uh, uh, bedroom wall and for my in-laws. And then we obviously used a ton in our, um, uh, trailer as well. And they were really easy. They're so easy to put up. Yeah, I'm sure I'll end up doing one somewhere in the house. We decided Mm -hmm. today, like told you guys earlier, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up staying here because we were going to move trying to find somewhere either locally or out of state, but I think we're going to be stuck here. So we decided to stay here and like build the house more how we want, like expand the kitchen and definitely build a shop. So I'm definitely going to end up with like a, I think the quote I got last time was a 30 by 40 shop or 30 by 50. So shop. Yeah. Might as well go big. Yeah, it's just the metal, like the metal shops, you know? Yeah. Not like a pole barn or And nothing. you don't get really that cold or anything. You don't get snow, no. so it's not like you need to insulate it. Well, crazy. I probably will insulate it, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I want to kind of like separate it, though, because I want like a wood shop and half of it, and then the other shop part like to work on cars and stuff. Mm. So. Well, if you have a 30 by 50, you'll have yeah. room. There's room. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. That's my goal. So if I'll be stuck here, I want to be you know happy so yeah that's cool well you turn like you've got several other like sheds uh, buildings shops whatever out on here would you tear those down and build it there yeah. or keep those yeah they're yeah. garbage no i won't build it there i'll probably build it more in the back because my whole i have almost two acres but my house and the shop and everything is buried in like the front corner so the rest of it's just open stupid and i don't understand why they did that so i want to like i'll probably leave the other one car garage because it's useful so I will probably rebuild that part, but then tear down the rest of the crap because it's it's all, I don't know who built it, but they should never do anything again because it's horrible. Like, it's, I don't know. It's what, probably Jesse's electrician. Yes, Dude, that's exactly so, what it was. So the guy bad. that did this house. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, what yeah. is it? Uh, right there. Yeah. I, I mean, they. Pro- it seems like they just like used whatever they had. And I guess you can't, you know, you can commend them for that, but. Yeah. It's, it's time to tear it down. So this, the shop you're in right now, like eventually when you get the other one built, you're just going to use the shop you're in, which is just your garage, right? Yeah. That's just, just going to be a garage, car right? garage. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure. Cause you could freaking make that into a part of your house. Can you? Yeah. I guess it's true. Make it into an actual room. Yeah. I never could... really thought about that. I guess that'd be a good idea. I could expand the mat. Cause my bedroom but like butts up to it so i guess we could like put the make the bedroom come in here i don't know we'll see that's cool though a lot of possibilities mm-hmm. yeah it's awesome well, Jesse, it's your, gonna... uh, do what go, go oh, i was gonna say and the whole house has a new roof on it too so oh, oh yeah another yeah. another incentive to stay it's only a year old now so yeah anyone with a tin roof right Mm-mm. Oh, that's it's 30 year composite oh, okay yeah. um but jesse you get your day bed done not done, but almost. I got to paint it. Um, I got to stain the top pieces, and that's pretty much it, and then assemble it. But I had to make it, so um, it's very DIY. That's what I wanted to do. So it was like someone that has very minimal tools could do it for pretty cheap. I did the whole thing with two pieces of 8 by 4 foot plywood, uh, three quarters. So, um but yeah, it's it's coming along really well actually. So I got the oak um, for the basically the top like header piece. I don't know the cap basically. Um, got those done today. I just need to stain and paint, and I'm done. So, but I like my hallway down to that room. It's going to be in is so small. Like I can't just assemble it and then like carry it down. <laughs> I have to assemble it, make sure everything fits, then disassemble it then take it down then reassemble it it's gonna be mm-hmm. annoying but she'll work out i'm pretty excited just to have it done and actually be in the shop for once in like three weeks it right. was uh it was a long three weeks 
Uh, now I missed what it's for. Is it for one of your kids or just a spare bedroom? No. So, um, our, we have a downstairs room that's like 30 feet by like 10 feet. I think it's that size close to that. Anyway, it's an interesting shape. Yeah. It's like, it's very rectangular, Whoa. but, uh, it's almost like it's supposed to be two rooms. And you can make it in two rooms because oh, it goes that's down the like hallway your, and it's that split. That when you were talking about your neighbor has the same one, but it's yeah, split but they in have, two rooms. Yeah, so yeah. I think we're going to end up splitting that because my wife doesn't really have a spot. We don't know you know, what ends up happening. It doesn't look like she'll be having to work from home anytime soon, which we're happy about because she's a teacher. But um, you know, last year in March, she had to work from home and it was a pain because she had nowhere to work. And so I was like, okay, she, she kind of wants her own room where she can have her like library because she has a ton of books she reads all the time. And then she has her exercise bike and stuff. So I was like, well, this will be good. We can have a day bed in here. And then it'll also work when people visit and we need space that someone can actually sleep in here too. So kind of both, like, you know, she can sit in it like as a couch, but also be a bed if we need it. So um, oh, that's and, cool. It's a good idea. Yeah. So we figured we'd try to try to make something that people aren't going to be sleeping on air mattresses. So we thought a trundle kind of day bed thing would work. Um, and so, yeah, it came together pretty good. So hopefully I'll have why that did done. you, uh, why did you decide to go more the D D damn it? I can't even say it. The <laughs> DIY, DIY route. <laughs> route. Yeah. I was getting it back. I can't I, I even say, say it. I don't want to do it so much. <laughs> um, well, no, I like it. I like the idea that you reach a, a larger audience and, yeah. you know, it helps more people that would probably, I would say somebody's building a bed like that is somebody like, you know, that is just getting started out woodworking. Yeah. It's a simpler plan, but I don't know. I was just asking if that was the reason or. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, most of the plans when I, cause I'm actually going to make PDF plans for this. So free plans on my website cause I'm redoing my website. So I wanted to kind of have throw up some of my plans that I already have available on there and just all of it be for free to help drive traffic to the website. But also people can just go in and look it up and, you know, be able to build something. So, um, the more DIY you get, the more people are going to be looking up those plans. I feel like the more complicated you get things, um, the less people are going to be looking at your plans because I feel like most people that have the tools and the knowledge and like it gets in depth, they just like, for me, I get an idea. I just do it myself. I don't really look up plans. Mm -hmm. But like when I first started out, I was looking at plans all the time. I was like, I have no word, no idea what to start. So I feel like it reaches more people that way. So yeah, I figured, you know, I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. And so it's it's pretty simple, pretty simple build. Um, but it's coming along good. It's nice. It's kind of it'll kind of look like shaker style, very squared, you know, mm -hmm. detail. There's not it's not gonna be super complicated, but. Um, it'll look, it'll look good in the, the room that we're going to have it in. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What about you, Jesse? Uh, well, you know, usually every time you ask me that question, I'm like, oh, I was just cleaning the shop. Um, <laughs> cleaning the shop. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it's I need super to explain clean now. <laughs> the way that I basically get to build is, you know, short periods of time randomly throughout the week, mostly. And you know, it's at home. The kids go to bed at nine o'clock. I jump in there till 10 or 11. Um, you know, or I get a little bit of time before dinner or something like that. So usually by Saturday and Sunday, which would usually be when a lot of people get a lot of time to be in there. I'm not because Carter has, my son has hockey. So I spend most of my time in there trying to get it cleaned back up after I throw 50 grenades into it th during the week of running in there, you know, doing two hours of work, running back out. And I never get any time to clean back up when I build. So most of my weekends are spent uh, cleaning up and get my shop back together. Uh, which is, I did a little bit of that today. Uh, I also was talking to a buddy of mine. He, man, he came into a gold mine of, uh, walnut and red Oak. Um, Ooh, nice. he found an old barn he was tearing down or something for a guy and then found the guy had milled it all up and, uh, had it in there stickered and everything for years and years. And it's ready to go. Just rough lumber. Uh, and he bought every bit of it and it's like four trailer loads of it. Okay. Uh, so I got on the phone to, with him today and we're looking at some pictures of it. Cause it's like an hour and a half from me and uh, he's going to bring me a bunch of it tomorrow, a bunch of the Oak and, um, and Walnut. And I'm going to start building a desk for my office. So nice. Nice. That's sweet. Yeah, that should be good. So I get, get that wood in here and start getting it milled up, see what I got. And then 
go from what I got. I'm going to kind of, what I'm going to have to do is take a pile of wood and then make plans to fit that pile of wood, basically. Uh, Cause that's what I'm going to have to build it with. And mm-hmm. what I'm going to try to do. Cause that's I don't want to go too expensive cause it's mine. It's in here, but I want to do something that's going to make good content. And like you said, Jesse, it's something that a lot of people are going to be interested in. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. We'll figure out something. You should mix them. And then you have like contrasts. I thought about that. Have like I can't walnut wait to see. legs, yeah. oak top or something. I can't wait to see like how much of what I get. Cause I was thinking that exact same thing. Right. Um, just kind of use what you got kind of stuff. Yeah. That's so, cool. So yeah, and I got some, uh, did some shop maintenance to change the, uh, planer, uh, my planer blades out. And every time I do that, I just wish that I had the, uh, Sheelix helical head. <laughs> um, Me too. Cause I like man. our plane. Cause I think we all have the same one, right? Yeah. 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 I like our planers, but man, the helix head would make the world a difference. Man. It's, it's just hard to spend the same amount of money you spend on the planer to buy I know, the head. Right. For it. But I know. you know, I talked to, I was uh DMing with Jay Bates, uh, a while back about it. And he said when he got his, um, he had been using it, you know, he's normal use. He's full time content creation, but he's in the wood shop every day. I would say, uh, for, he said it had been over a year and he's not even turned the uh, blades once. And, you know, they hmm. have four sides on those. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, dude, it, the noise reduced, you know, greatly. Uh, and he's like, man, I think it, it just runs awesome. Yeah. So I love that. I would love to have it, but man, that's a hard trigger to pull for $500. Yeah. yeah I don't cool. use my planer enough. I don't think cause almost all, I like hardly ever use my planer if we're being real honest. Cause almost all the lumber I buy is surfaced on three sides already. Oh, gotcha. And uh-huh. so it's like, I almost wish there was somewhere around here. I could get rough lumber from just so I could like show the process. But yeah. then I'm like, Hmm, I don't really miss it. <laughs> yeah. I've done it before. I do it at work sometimes, but yeah. we have a 24 inch helical head planer. So, but oh, nice. it's like, nice. an, it's like an old Oliver and it runs great, but the blades are like, they're either out of adjustment or they're dull. I'm not sure which, but it leaves lines in the board and stuff. So if it's not uh, too bad, we usually just run it through the sander instead. Hmm. You got that giant sander. Yeah. And you throw like some, like Merca sent us some of their belts and uh, they have, we have 36 grit. So you can throw a 36 grit belt on there and it pretty much just flattens whatever you throw in there. As long as the bottom's flat, it's basically a big planer. That's cool. Speaking of Merca, today's episode sponsor is Merca. They're the pioneers of dust free sanding. I've been using my Merca for over a year and uh, they just recently sent us all sanders and vacs and the change for me was the HEPA vac. It is amazing. No dust, super quiet, and it's very healthy because it literally will take all the dust out of the air. Like, there, nothing escapes. It's pretty crazy, especially if you're using the Abernet paper. Highly recommend it. So be sure to go follow them on Instagram. It's Merca underscore USA. Uh, also go follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and across the platforms. I know that they would truly appreciate it. And do us a favor, shoot them a message. Let them know that we sent you. Uh, it always helps us out when uh, you let them know that. So... All right, with the end of the year coming, uh, Christmas coming up in about a week or so, uh, I think we all pretty much discussed we're going to take a little bit of a break through the beginning of the year and then jump back on the podcast, back on our normally, uh, normal, regularly, regu- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> regularly our normal, scheduled programming. Our normal <laughs> schedule of uh, every week. Um, but, you know, moving out of 2020, the dumpster fire that it was, and <laughs> into 2021, which we all have high hopes for, and I really hope it pays off. Um, you know, what's kind of Brandon, what's your goals for 2021 in your shop, your woodwork and uh, all that good stuff? I definitely want to put out more videos for sure. Um, I want to grow my relationship with the brands that I work with, um, continue doing full-time work at Bidwell and, uh, just kind of dive into stuff that's more creative rather than, um, just like run of the mill stuff, you know, like this, as I got my YouTube channel started, you know, I think a lot of people start out like not copying people, but doing the same type of videos as other people. Like it's just like a staple. It seems like on the word working channel, like everybody makes cross cut sled, everybody makes a joiner mm-hmm. sled, you know, all this stuff. So, and those are great. Like those are one of my 
top performing videos. So I, I'm sure I will do more like jigs and things, but I also want to get more into the creative side of it and develop an audience that's more connected with me and my personality rather than just the project itself. Because I think if you want to grow on YouTube, that's just how you have to be. Like you can't just expect people to come back for, you know, just straight projects. Unless you're Jay Bates, I guess he's made a pretty good living out of that. <laughs> but he also <laughs> brings, good. yeah, but I mean, he, it's not just that, you know, everybody knows who he is and he spends quite a bit of time even talking to the camera. So he kind of turns all of that into kind of intertwines it all. So I'm still trying to find my voice, just like you guys are probably doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. So just trying to find the groove that I want to be in and continue to be happy doing it rather than it turning into a job is my main focus, I think. So. Yeah, so most of it's focused on on content and things, and just growing my personal brand and business. You're getting away. 2021, you don't plan on doing much uh, client builds, right? No, I haven't. Away from it, I haven't done any client builds except for like for family or friends. Since I started working at Bidwell, that was kind of the agreement, Um, and it just so happened to work out to where I could afford to stop doing it. but but if there is like a client that I want to work with that or you know one of my past clients that wants something and I feel like it would make a good video then I will do that. That's different, but, right? Because you like, can kind of double dip, right? Yeah, which is and nice. I can kind of give them a better deal. You know, I if it's something I really want to do, if, especially if I can make content out of it, then I don't have to charge them like an arm and a leg. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's good. What about you, Jesse? Um, kind of. Along the same lines, actually. I I mean, uh, for me, I actually want to focus on YouTube for once in my social media career, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, because I focused on Instagram so much. And it's paid off. I mean, it's been really good for me. Um, so I really, for my channel stuff, I really want to focus on YouTube um, and start doing those long form uh, videos. Uh, my brothers will be moving out here the beginning of this next year, and he'll be helping me um, pretty much full time, uh, doing a lot of the side stuff, but helping me a ton on my channel. So production value should go up a ton because he's basically just going to be a cameraman and editor for me. So, um, when it comes to the channel stuff and it'll, it's just going to look so much better. Every video will look better. The quick ease of everything will be better. I won't like projects won't take three times as long. It'll Mm -hmm. take like you know, just a little bit longer. So I'm really excited for that. I think the next thing too is I just got my finishing up my new website, like I said. So actually take care of my website because <laughs> I literally set it like my other one up and just never touch it, never do blog posts, never update it. So that's something I'll be doing this next uh, year, you know, and try to drive traffic to that and kind of be a funnel for me. So, um, yeah, I got a lot. You know, it's funny. My wife and I were talking. I remember the end of 2019, we're like, 2020, baby, this is our year. <laughs> we're just going to, you know, and then it was I a saw sh- something today. It was a said, shit I don't want to hear nothing about people saying 2021's their year. Everybody just tiptoe in and don't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> but for real, that's, a, that, that's right? as real as it gets because... Man, we were so pumped for 2020 and, um, you know, two months in, you're like, oh, this is not going to go the way I thought. <laughs> yeah, and no and uh, to be fair, my wife and I, we didn't, you know, a lot of people got hit. 2020, a lot of people got hit really hard, right? There's a lot of stuff that went down. Obviously, COVID hit a lot of people hard, losing jobs, stuff like that. We didn't have to deal with any of that, which I'm very happy with. Um, but it was still a crazy year. Like, you know, say the least. And we're still kind of in it, even though hopefully it seems it might be getting crazier. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But uh, anyway, 2021, I'm looking forward to. I think a lot of good things on the horizon for us. So, um, yeah. Any any builds you guys are looking forward to? Like, Jesse, you looking like, is there anything building wise that you're like, I can't wait to build this this next year? Well, um, in particular, yeah. And also in general, because. Like I start when I started my YouTube, uh, I didn't do many, and I still haven't done many project videos on there. Um, I wanted to get a good base of instructional videos, things that um, I 
when I was searching YouTube to try to learn how to woodwork weren't there, or I didn't like the videos that were there. So that's kind of where I've been over the last year uh, when it comes to YouTube and content. So, which is why my Instagram has kind of suffered a little bit because when you're doing those instructional videos, you're not really pumping out a lot of stuff for Instagram and other platforms. Um, but it's served me really well on YouTube. And now I have a really good base uh, video set there, which is what I was really going for. Um, in 2021, I'm going to change that now. And I'm going to do as many project videos as I can uh, and get into some larger builds. Um, I really want to start doing more plans for my website. Uh, I do blog posts, which are all free and people can go on and look at and get the plans off of it that are based off of my YouTube videos. Um, but I've only got really one really good set of plans uh, for a shop project. So I want to do more of those, get the website going up a little bit more. Uh, but with our new house, man, I've got an endless number of things that I can and need to build. Mm -hmm. um, I need I need deck furniture for out by like our pool. Um, I need furniture, furniture for in the house. We need new coffee table. We need new, in, new end tables. Uh, my kids could use dressers. Um, I have a whole bonus room I need to fill with stuff. So I need a you know some type of TV console standing underneath my TV where it's hanging. So I've got all kinds of stuff I need to do. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the text messages and emails from family members and friends don't stop coming either. So I've got, <laughs> if I'm looking to do something, I'm sure I can find it. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of my goal in 2021 is to get a good base of project videos out there now. Um, and now that I have that other stuff on there. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of that when I got the website up and running and I started YouTube uh, is when I started to like, I, I wanted a plan you know, this is what the projects I want to do now. This is how I want to get it going. So it's there. So I feel like I have the base now and now I want to move on and kind of get the rest of it going. Sweet. That's, That's cool. something else I want to do too is update my website. I started building another one and then I just hate it so much that I'm like, nah, screw <laughs> yeah. this. I'll go back so to you, it in a month or two. You went into using Squarespace, right? On the new one? Yeah. And it's super yeah. easy to use. My, where I lack is like graphic design stuff. I'm getting a little bit better. I just need to put the time in and I'm impatient. Uh, and I don't really have like the desire to learn that type of stuff. That's why I don't like edit my own videos either. Cause I just, I'm like, all right, I'm going to edit. I'm going to sit down and learn this. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm like, yeah, so I'm going to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. I don't want to sit here and do this anymore. Now, what do you, what do you mean by in the graphic design portion of it? What are you needing for that? Well, just like, I don't know. Like when you get on your website, I'm like, all right, I got to like get a vision of what I want. And then I get on there and I'm like, well, I need pictures. Like, <laughs> and like, I don't want to just put random pictures on there, you know, like I'd yeah. like them to be edited nicely and like, I don't know, blended together. And there's certain, yeah. I'm, there's an art to it for sure yeah. to make a yeah. website look good. I, I yeah. think in my head, like, I'm like, oh, this would look cool. And then I get on there. I'm like, that's not at all what I want it to look like. Yeah. So. But it, also you know, to kind of encourage you a little bit as well, I think in woodworking and people who will be looking at our website will appreciate simple and just straight to the point stuff as well. Right. Um, I mean, my favorite websites that I go to are the ones that I click on and there's a ton of stuff right there. Like I, there's plans, there's everything I want to see. There's more stuff that interests me and it's all, you know, pretty easy to find. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to go through 13 tabs and there isn't like stuff shooting out with fireworks and right. crap like that everywhere, you know? No, yeah. I don't want that either, but I, it's just like, it just seems like it's, I don't know though. I feel like I'm getting old. Like I'm so used to the older internet where now, like I didn't go to like actual websites for so long before I got back into like woodworking and being online a lot. I, there was several years where I was just like not really about the internet a whole lot. And so I'm used to like, like I was super into forums like back in the day when they were like real popular like message boards and stuff for like whatever hobby I was into at the time. Like I did like hot rod ones and we were into like saltwater reef tanks and there was like forums for that, you know, just to learn basically Very random, but continue. You have the I know. Oh, what dude, is wrong dude, with you? My, one, one of my buddies is like, you're so weird. He's like, you've had like 20 different lives, like so many different sections of your life. And He's they're like, nothing. You know, they're not related whatsoever. Brand's like, like yeah. my favorite forum was those antique salt and pepper shakers. We were on that forum all the right? time. It's like, dude, what are you so talking funny. about? People like, people have messaged me. They're like, oh, I didn't know you were a gun guy. I'm like, what does that yeah. even mean? Like, how? 
what? Like, <laughs> why would I not look like a gun guy? Like, I've shot guns since I was five years old, yeah. you know? And then people mm-hmm. are always surprised when I'm like, oh, I race dirt bikes. I used to race yeah. go-karts, you know? I did all kinds of stuff. I've I had think, like 20 different jobs. But... I think people, they see this one aspect of us, right? And they think that is us. This right. is it. This is yeah. all we are. And it's mm-hmm. like, no, this is a small, small fraction mm-hmm. of like, even though you see this all <laughs> the time. You don't even know. Yeah. You like, you have no idea what we're doing. Like what other businesses we have going on? What, what we do like, you know, on our full-time job, you just don't know. Like yeah. that woodworking and content creation is a huge part of my life, but it's definitely not all of it, mm-hmm. you know? And I got a lot of other stuff I like to do and enjoy. And, but people it's funny. And and I think all of us are guilty of that. Like you see the person, like whether it doesn't matter who it is, someone famous mm-hmm. or someone you just follow on, you're like, Oh yeah, I know them. And then like, when you see them, you just ask them about stuff you've seen on social media. Mm-hmm. Like every time I've, I've only met a few people at home Depot, but here it's like, I'll be like looking at lumber or something. And some guy's like, Hey, yeah. how's your project going? And he's mm-hmm. like, and he'll start talking to me about my project. I'm like, I don't know you at all, but uh, <laughs> so I'm going gonna, gonna to act like I do, you know? I would do the and, same thing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. I yeah. think everyone just sees it through that one funnel that we, right. we give them, you know? But what I was alluding to was I've, I'm so used to the old school websites to where you go on there and there's like a menu on top, you know? And then it's just like, like I kind of relate it to like, like Brad's website, like fix this, build that his is sort of like the older style, I think rather than like now all of the templates on Squarespace, you get on there and it's just like this one huge picture. Yeah. And then there's like, you have to scroll down and then there's like another huge picture with like some words on it and you scroll down, there's another, and I'm like, what? It seems so inefficient. Yeah. See, I, I pulled up one of those templates, deleted all of that and went straight to the old school style. Right. But if you look at like all the newer (laughs) websites, they're all like that. Oh, well, the guy that's that like, helped well, me get mine going, <laughs> the guy that helped me get my going, that's why he, he originally had it set up. It had like this yeah. giant photo that like me scrolled too. with it I've and had... all that. And I was like, I can't, I don't, I don't, yeah. I can't even see this myself. This is exactly. weird. I don't like this distracting. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the whole, it's like a, every, every website's like a photographer's website. It seems yeah. like or something. Yeah. Like Jesse, you going to do yours yourself or? Yeah, so I've, it's almost done. I'm using Squarespace as well because I've used, created quite a few websites on Squarespace, and I like the setup. Um, I like the big photo, not for my own though. It, well, I do. It's weird. I kind of have a mix of an old style and the new style. So you know, and then the ones they have is just like the big picture, and there's no actual header or anything. It's just like, it's just words, but like you can barely see it with the background. So anyway. They said it through like Brandon was talking about, and I ended up putting a header on top where it was really easy to be like, okay, the home button, the mm-hmm. about projects and contact. That is it. Like, I don't want more than that. Like I want it mm-hmm. to be a place where somebody wants to get a hold of me. They can send me an email, whatever sponsorship inquiry. So I got two of those. Right. And then under one tab and then everything else is just the projects, which will be a blog, the about. So if you know, just a quick excerpt of who I am and then the home button. That's it. Like, I just want it. I don't want it to be all cluttered. I don't want it to be like, I hate going to websites, which like when you go and it's just like a thousand different things right off mm-hmm. the bat where it's like, Jesse was trying to think of a, an example, but he didn't want to offend anybody. I did. <laughs> so exactly. he was thinking. Well, I had like three <laughs> examples popped in my head. I was like, uh, no, no, like, oh, no. Oh, oh. Take it yes. back. <laughs> but where it's like, it's like, like you get on there and it's like eight projects. And I'm like, geez, dude, let's all relax for a second. Let me like look through this. And I just don't like that. I'd rather it be like pretty much really structured you know, yeah. by date or however it is. But yeah, um, so mine's going to be kind of a mix of modern, but also be very, very simplified. So we'll see. I'm, I'm happy with it so far, but it's still got some ways to go. Sweet. But my Wix, uh, my website just freaking expired. <laughs> I had to cancel it because it's about to renew. So now, right, I currently have zero website because I had to cancel. <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying for Wix again because I, I don't like that template, the setups or anything like that. And it, that one was crap. So it's like I had to cancel it before it charged. And then now I'm setting up the new one with the new domain as well. So we'll see. That's, I got to kind of hurry it up and finish it. 
That's another thing I got to do. I got to go in. You just reminded me that I've got to go in and figure out what is auto drafting that I have signed up for over the last couple of years doing social media editing and stuff. Dude. You know, it's like like uh, Epidemic Sound. Or, I was yeah. thinking about that too yesterday. Buddy or something. You know, I was like, I really need this. And I started paying for it. And then I'm like, I've never used that. I don't yeah. know what <laughs> social know blue what book. Is. Oh, you I pay for that? I've never oh, paid dude. for that. I can't. I I really really need to do that. <laughs> like what Jesse say? Because I guarantee you, I probably have like twenty subscriptions I pay for that are like yeah. four ninety nine or ten ninety nine. Because I don't like go through and check my bank account to see like what. No, you know? I. I mean, like that sounds kind of douchey but like i don't i doesn't think like i'm rolling in it so yeah. i just don't i'm so it. rich it doesn't when matter when it comes to finances like, it's no. just kind of yeah. like i 100 percent mean that i don't even don't do any of my bills my right. wife would tell me she's yeah she's like what is yeah. epidemic sound that's the same with i do my own <laughs> yeah. but i'm so bad at it it's like well oh uh, yep there's enough in there to pay these bills cool let's see what i have left over when it gets done drafting everything out like <laughs> you know it's like it's it's probably the worst thing to do ever but i really need to get in there because i like i said i guarantee you i have probably 20 subscriptions that i don't even use yeah like i just especially like the i don't know everybody pushes for like email lists and everything and i did that and i have like 2500 people so i have to pay for mailchimp so it's like 21 dollars mm-hmm. a month and i know mm-hmm. i'm paying for that and i'm not even barely using it and when i do it seems to be useless so for me, I don't think mailing lists are you can't, my this greatest is, idea. This is totally like, I don't know, insider baseball. Isn't that what they call it? When it's like right. most people don't care about this. Yeah, but anyway, I know. Um, no, like can't you just like copy and paste all those emails and save it somewhere? Like, you know, all the no, ones I that are No, I have all the chip? emails, but the oh. actual service to send the emails out costs you money. Oh. If it's over 2,000 people or something like that. No, that's a, and I could go through and like figure out who's not opening them and or who is and like delete those and get it down back to the free. But if mine is in there, you can delete mine just so you were. Nobody got time for that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like trying to delete your followers that you don't want to be following you when you have a bunch. I know. It's not <laughs> worth the I'll time. Do th- I do yeah. that every now and then. I do. Uh, if you, if you no, go I, on my, I, uh, what's, what's it called? Who's, the, bro, you, what? No, where you can see it online. What's the website called? I, I forget. Phone, I, don't I, know know. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. I keep wanting to say tube buddy because that's what we we're talking about. But the one where you can see like how many people with, as you're picking up mm-hmm. followers or as you unfollow people yeah, yeah. stuff. Like who if you go look at mine, even, so. Oh, mine's hilarious because it's like, you know, I'll follow somebody every now and then, or like, it'll be a follow once a week or something where I'm, you know, I find something interesting and I follow it. And then there'll be this one day every like three months and it's like minus 530 people <laughs> i'll just go yeah. through my following yeah. list and i'm like haven't liked that picture and set or a picture of his in seven months i'm defaulting yeah. you know, i'm not following him and yeah i did that clean like house. recently as well but not i was saying like for your followers which somebody told me the other day that like that might be a good idea because there's so many people that follow you that are like not in enge- engaging with your with you you know so it might be better to have like less followers that are more engaged yeah but you can't kick people out you'd have no, to you block can. them no can't you... you can remove them oh really i did that but then i'm like oh, 106 000 people to go through like <laughs> yeah there's no like how do you feel <laughs> no way that? how do you even i started that doing i, I did like 20 and i was like no like all the russian yeah, characters i'm I like yeah. no no <laughs> go away go away <laughs> <laughs> All the ones from Taran. Ones I can't yeah. pronounce. Yeah. Like, guarantee like you they're that's... not interacting with my content. They don't even speak English. Yeah. If I can find the person who is in charge of that wood pricks, W O O D P R I X. Or wood glut. If I can find, yeah, or wood glut. If I can find that person, I might beat them to death. I get. Call me if you figure it out. Yeah. I get 47 of those stupid. Um, like fake account. Uh, I made this using wood pricks, you know, on my YouTube yeah. videos. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> right. I just made that Give up. You didn't know plans account. on wood pricks. Yeah. I get those con- like every two to three days I go through and delete like at least five of them. And it's yeah. just like some random like stock picture of some like uh, lady in an office. I'm like, that seems not like a real account. <laughs> no. Yeah. 
I, but I guess it works. I guess some idiots, you know, they're yeah, wood sure pricks and buy all their plans, I guess. I had a weird scam account reach out to me just like, I think yesterday. And it was like, it started out with a Bible verse. And then it said uh, that it was like Christian men like us, like need to go find us. So it's like basically a Christian woman. Right. And I was like a, a Christian men like us. And then the picture is like this girl in a bikini. And I was like, <laughs> It's like, first of all, if you're going to scam somebody, get your picture right. It doesn't even make sense to say that's a dude. And if that's a dude, I'm definitely not going to follow this person. Come on now. Get, dude, I had, real I had one that followed me that was like, it had, was a picture of Keanu Reeves. And it said like, the username was Keanu Reeves 9547298. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's hilarious. I was like, ooh, Keanu Reeves is following me. It's awesome. <laughs> When they call me, I do everything I can to keep them on the phone for as long as possible. I act yeah. as interested as, as I could be. I get them; they yeah. transfer me to other people. Uh, by the end of it, they you know they're trying to get two grand out of me, and they want you to go set up a PayPal or you know of course. money wire or something. You're like, I like, want no. my free Marriott hotel stay. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't. I don't use banks. I don't know how to do all this stuff. Just meet me in person. I get ten grand in cash on me right now. Just, right. Come meet me in person. They're like we won't do that. <laughs> I love uh, Nick Key just shared a bunch. <laughs> I was so unbelievable. Good. I was like, you kept him on for like it seemed like a day and a half texting yeah. this guy, just going back and forth. Uh, it's like, he man. talks about that on their podcast all the time. He's oh, done it like ten it's, times. It's, it's fantastic. It, that one was amazing. I was DMing him as he was doing it, and I was like, this is awesome. This is my entertainment all day. It's yeah. So good. That's funny. It was off the two bookshelves, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I seen a story no, saying sense. something about. If it was the two bookshelves he was building, and he said check the highlights, yeah. but I haven't watched it yet. I'll have to go look. Oh, you have to check it out because it is very funny. He's a yeah. very funny dude when it comes to stuff like that. Anyway, and man, I was I was crying laughing. That's awesome. Yeah, it was good. At one point, Nikki ends up with a <laughs> with a prosthetic leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, oh, it's, no. it's so dumb it's just that, like, <laughs> it's the greatest thing as this guy's talking you're like you don't know what you're saying at all like it's just oh. nick, nick kept alluding to stuff constantly like the stuff he was saying if you knew english at all you're like oh he's making a joke he's alluding to like something that's not what he's talking about and this guy just never got it it's like okay you're definitely not from the united states 100 percent. Right. yeah it's it's great. Definitely go check it out. So this is a, a question. We're going to end actually the pod, the last podcast of 2020 with a question. And um, this is from Watts Woodworks. Uh, he put, I am wanting to expand my followers on my page and really take my woodworking to the next level. How did you go about getting as many followers as you have? And did people shout you out on their page? I think it's pretty interesting. Like, <laughs> The growing part, because I think a lot of people, when you first start out, just assume that bigger pages just shouted you out and you grew a lot. Because, like, if you notice, there's a lot of people, like for us, that tag us like constantly, like pages I've never talked to, I've never seen, it has nothing to do with me, and they tag me in it. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'll like the page if I look at it and stuff, but like the thing that helps you grow, that's not what helps you grow. Like the thing that helps you grow, because even if somebody shouts me out, I, it's not like you see like a like a huge number of new followers or engagement from that. It's just the constant relationship you have with your followers, whether it's through stories, through your content that you're creating, and you actually talking to them and having a conversation. It's not some spam account that's like, hey, if you pay me 500 bucks, I'll share mm -hmm. you on my giant page. Like that's not how you do it. It's just a consistent grind of just creating the content and putting it out there. Like that's how you grow. And I think that's how we've all grown over the last four years or whatever. I mean, we've all just posted constantly and talked to people constantly and that's how you grow. Um, don't look for those big accounts to shout you out. Like you might have yeah. a tiny bump, but it's not going to stay. Like it's just the grind that you have to do. Right. What are your guys' thoughts? Uh, so that, I will sit, start off by saying Instagram is a complete different like world now yes, than it was when we too. started growing. Yeah, that's true too. The organic reach on Instagram now is a joke if you want to be real about it. Um, so it is very hard to grow on Instagram now. I, me and, well, Mullen, he's growing more than we have. But me and JP have been static for a year at least. Yeah. 
maybe longer. I mean, yeah. I go from 104 to 106, <clears throat> back down, back up, back down. So don't think because we have large accounts, we've got to figure it out because clearly yeah, that's, we don't. it's not that's going. That's true too. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. and I definitely am guilty of jumping on that when I was a smaller account, you know, trying to get people to shout me out, especially me when when it was, it, it used to be kind of effective, but the problem is the followers you get are not the followers you want in my opinion. So yeah, like if it depends on how you're getting shouted out as well. Exactly. Yeah. So like mm-hmm. when, and so like when we came up, there was a lot of a epo- like that was the epoxy trend, you know, wave came through. So there was all these artistry accounts that had hundreds of thousands of followers that were shouting all of us out. And I mean, yep. yeah, that did give us big bumps, but if I could go back and do it over again, I would probably not do that. I'm obviously not going to delete my account, start over, but <laughs> like, if I could go back through my followers and choose the ones that I want to keep following me, I would probably have half because I, I don't want people following me that aren't going to engage with my stuff. And you know, that's, what's really, that's, what's really valuable is like, especially if you're wanting to reach out to brands. Like I know another part of his question um, that you read off air was, you know, how do you get people to send you tools and things? Well, if that's your ultimate goal, you don't want a bunch of like, random accounts following you that don't interact with you they look more towards interaction um, with your account than the number the number is just a vanity number that really doesn't mean that much like i don't know what to tell you you have to like i said you got to be consistent post all the time um and that's true still i mean i still we still do that and i it's not growing no you know it's nothing crazy um but if you really want to focus on growth i would say like you said focus on reels focus on whatever they are rolling out that's new because that's what they're going to push that's what i've learned over Insta- if instagram specifically is really about whatever their newest thing is they're going to push that like when yeah. igd igtv came out that was like the thing to do. Like if you were just posting pictures, you weren't getting any traction. You had to post videos. And then when IGTV came out, you had to post those. And now Reels is out. So you need to post those because they're getting all kinds of traction. So whatever the newest thing is, if growth is your focus, I would focus on that. Yeah, it'd be, oh, go ahead, Jesse, and then I'll jump back in. No, I think that's, that's excellent advice. And one of the main things that I would say is, when you're getting it started, if you're you're starting right now and you're building something from the ground up, uh, have a game plan because you got to give people a reason to hit the follow button. Like you either have to add value to them or entertainment. And yeah. I'm not a real entertaining person. Like I'm nobody's watching me because I provide them entertainment for the most part. Unless you I- should have told us that before we brought you onto the podcast. <laughs> as well. so, well, yeah, I'm just uh, you know. There's a thousand other bald guys with beards in their, you know, shop garage, you know, <laughs> building stuff. But I tried to add value to people who were following me. I tried to video uh, was another thing why I like video so much on Instagram. I try to video and show the process of something that I'm building. And it was kind of like a YouTube video, but in short form mm-hmm. over a week span or whatever. Um, and when videos that I was showing people how to do something that they were interested in or a video that was interesting to them because they wanted to build it or whatever. And something like that got shouted out to a, like a, a bigger account reposted it. That's when I got the most engaging uh, followers, the followers that you really want to have um, mm-hmm. because they saw something on there. It wasn't because it looked really cool the way you poured that epoxy and I'm not down in epoxy accounts and stuff. I'm just saying um, they thought something looked cool or was like artsy or whatever. Uh, it added a value and they followed you for a reason. They're like, I can get something out of this and they're going to stay around and they're going to interact and they're going to watch your stuff. Um, and I think that is the biggest thing is, is you have to, you have to have a plan on what you're, you know, what you're going to provide people. Um, if you want them to follow you, because that's ultimately what it's all about. Yeah. I think another thing that, uh, somebody we know and have had on the podcast is doing extremely well is, my coffee and how he engages with all of his followers that's huge and that's something i need to work on and probably will never be as good as him because that guy spends so much time on there doing it but just being engaged with your following is massive i mean that's talk about providing value and stuff i mean that's 
that's what people want. They don't want to just follow you and be like, oh, I follow this guy. Like they want to be like, oh, I know him. You know, I've talked to that person. You know, they've, they've helped me out this and that. Um, and also I wouldn't recommend jumping on trends kind of like the epoxy thing that we did. Cause you're going to get a bunch of people following you for that. And then you're going to go back to what you originally were on here to do building yeah. tables or whatever. Yeah. And the people that wanted to see, you know, the quote unquote, oddly satisfying videos aren't going to want to watch you cut lumber and build a table like yeah. they're, and they're just going to sit there and it's going to throw your metrics all off. Yeah. And, and realize what certain trends are and like reels isn't a trend. It's a tool, right? right? So like reels, even though it's kind of trendy cause everyone's doing it right now. Cause it's pretty much TikTok on Instagram. Yeah, but it's a tool, and that's right. something that Instagram but you can carry be your content. Yes, yeah, like so the stuff like, you want to do and you plan yeah. to do in the future, and use that in that format. Not like don't don't switch your whole your whole thing around. Like it, you know, of poor. I mean, this cement was kind of a thing too, or concrete, whatever you want to call it, was kind of a trend as well for a while, especially on YouTube. Like, like unless you plan on incorporating that into your builds and stuff from now on i wouldn't recommend jumping into stuff like that i mean there's nothing wrong with doing one-off things but don't do it because you think it's going to get you followers i don't think that's a good idea yeah yeah i think one thing too is especially in 2020 moving forward make sure that you're multifaceted when it comes to social media platforms Absolutely. don't just go into instagram like i did starting out and just saying like okay all i'm going to do is focus on instagram Okay, there's a lot of platforms out there, and there's more platforms that are just going to be popping up more and more, right? So there's TikTok now, which is huge, um, and so now, many there's, now. <laughs> now there's par- yeah, now there's now there's now there's Parlor, which will also be big. Um, you got a lot of people going to Parlor, and guess how many woodworkers are there? Not very many, and right. not very big accounts yet. So it's like a lot of us jumped on TikTok early with woodworking like when it comes to woodworking related there's a lot of people dancing and teenage kids doing whatever but we're like Mm -hmm. hey we can use this kind of the same way we did instagram a lot of people jumped on that and you have like lighthouse boston is absolutely massive Mm -hmm. on tiktok and they're way bigger on tiktok than they are on instagram because they jumped on it early and they were able to do it (laughs) brandon too brandon's massive on tiktok right i have twice as many followers on tiktok as i do on instagram so it's like you need to be just don't just say, okay, I'm going to just only focus on Instagram. It's time consuming to like, it sounds ridiculous, but it is time consuming to be like, okay, I'm going to post Instagram. I'm going to go and post the same thing on TikTok, which I do. That's what I do. Yeah, but even that little too. bit, I get lazy with. I'm like, yeah. it's okay. I'll just ignore TikTok for now. It's like, you can't do that. Especially I got 90,000 on there, 90,000 followers on TikTok. Like I need to actually like, you know, go and post and be consistent with that. And right. I think parlors, that new thing that I think a lot of people should start getting into. And then there's going to be other ones popping up this next year. You know, it's oh, just yeah. going to just make sure you're paying attention to where people are going, where the mm-hmm. most eyeballs try are. to get ahead. Yeah. Except yeah. for, except for Reddit, stay away from Reddit. Reddit's a dumpster yeah, no. fire. <laughs> Reddit's <laughs> yes. a joke. Yeah, I've please. actually, I'm proud of myself. I've never, never even gone on to Reddit. Like I've, I've Dude, done it for car it. stuff where it's like, Hey, I, I am this car. Proud like, of what's going on with my car? But I have been banned from almost every <laughs> woodworking subreddit on Reddit. Same. <laughs> like the only reason I'm here is to post my YouTube video and leave. And they'll literally like the mods will message me like, this is, I'm removing your post because you're just cross posting and, and you're not adding any value. I'm like, it's literally called woodworking videos subreddit. What do you want me to post? Like, <laughs> like so we want, you to, we want you to type out what your video is without that, linking to it. That is literally yeah. what they said. We don't allow YouTube links. I'm no like, sense. what? Where? Where are you uploading to then? Vivo. I've been banned from. Understand. Every one of them except for like DIY. Like I get DIY. I, That's the one super I never get posted today when it comes to. to that word. Jesse can't Trump, say it. everybody can't even say it <laughs> once again. Yeah. Uh, but I think I'm banned from all of them, but like that one and one other one. Yeah. <laughs> and I've done nothing other than, and I try to have value. Like I answer questions yeah. on there. I am super friendly. Uh, I don't do but that. since I <laughs> link my YouTube videos, they're like, they are super offended by YouTube yeah. videos for some reason. Yeah. They're like, you do it one more time, you're going to get banned. I'm like, I don't care. Like I'm yeah, only like here okay. to dump and run. Sorry. I was just, I was just looking <laughs> like, and, 
Um, I think we should play a game. Let's play a game of name every social media <laughs> platform that you're currently Sheesh. on for your woodworking accounts. Oh, man. A lot. <laughs> yeah. So here, so on I'm, or active? I think I'm on. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true too. So uh, I'm on yeah. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Parlor, uh Triller, right? After the, the, the Mike, on, on the yeah. Mike Tyson fight, I was like, hey, yeah. why not? Yeah. <laughs> um oh Zin, Zin, which is a new one. Yes, we're on Zin, so that's seven. Um What's that other one that's like Parlor that people are talking Me We or something like that? I haven't yeah, been on I've that one. Never yet, heard of that one. Yeah. I know that I, I started a rumble. I don't know if you know rumble. Oh yeah. But it's I supposed to be the that competitor of you, to but YouTube. I didn't actually post anything because you have yeah, to have a separate app either. for the camera. Do you really? I was like, to? what? Some of them are <laughs> very clanky. I was like, but I, that's what one I've read. I was like, rumble supposed to be opposite of YouTube or like a YouTube competitor. So I have that. Twitter. But I haven't posted. But I never it. Post on it. Yeah. You're on Twitter? I have a Twitter, but I don't right. post to it. So there's Same. I think eight. I have like seven followers. Two of them are you uh, guys yeah. probably. Yeah. No, I don't follow. <laughs> I auto, don't worry. A lot of my Thanks. stuff auto posts, like Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> anything that I can connect accounts to to auto post, I do that. So That's a good right. idea. I should just do you have do LinkedIn? That. Oh, yeah. I do have a LinkedIn. No, me too, but I don't, I don't ever post that's, to it. So that's Even though nine. I hear Gary Vee talk about it every single day. I have a Pinterest. Yeah. Oh, it's ten. Yeah. Oh my Pinterest. gosh! That's, <laughs> you start naming that's way them, too many. you get you get a little bit of a cold sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like oh, and then I'm you not realize, doing enough. Then you realize what you've then been your neglecting. Website. Yeah, yeah the yeah. website. But then you're like, oh, I've been neglecting eight out of ten of these. Cool. Uh-huh. That's really nice. <laughs> yep. Gosh, yeah. that's crazy. But yeah, be multifaceted like us. Be yeah. on twelve different sites. <laughs> Clearly, oh. we haven't figured out. <laughs> no, but <laughs> the more and more we are diverse, I think all of us, because we were all just Instagram, it has helped our channels tremendously across mm-hmm. the board. So that's something definitely do in 2021. Yeah. Um, the same thing goes with all all the platforms too. Like if they roll out a new feature, make sure you utilize it. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Instagram's not the only one. Like if you pay attention, like stories came from Snapchat. Like that's... Mm-hmm they steal reels from TikTok, like and all the platforms are like that like youtube is going to be doing if they continue with it they're going to have basically their own TikTok, which is going to be called shorts Shorts. yeah Yeah. so they'll have short clips and uh there's ways you can get on there right now and get around it it's only out in india currently but i posted one the other day like i should told you guys about and you know it's just to see just trying to jump on it early and I mean, it's got over a thousand views, which is not yeah. like great, but one thing too, in 2021 monetization of Instagram, if you guys haven't heard, so that yeah. would be pretty sweet. So, and that will be even, like, that'll restrict organic even more. Yep. But also it, for us that have a decent following that we kind of have like that we can get viral videos, you know, right. decent viral videos. I think it'll be pretty successful. So I wonder if it'll be like only the IGTV TikTok though. of it or, oh, that makes it's sense. It's only IGTV. So it's going to be interesting I'm great with to it. see. That every YouTube so video they actually, go on IGTV you know too. how Instagram <laughs> gives new features to people for a little bit? And just yeah. Say, they gave it to me for a little bit. Where oh, I actually wow. said it, monetization. I was like, what is this? And I clicked on it and then it came up, but it was like not available yet, but it gave me the tab. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. And it was under the notifications, the top of notifications, it said monetization and it had like a dollar sign. Well, I don't I like, know where weird. anything is on Instagram anymore. So I know. I know. <laughs> but I looked it up. I looked it up and it's basically going to be ads within IGTV. Yeah. If I, so. if I click the damn shop button on, on Instagram <laughs> one more time, thinking God, I'm going uh, to my comments and stuff. Yeah. Or that even the or reels. Like, I don't even watch the reels button. I yeah. always just do my feed or discover. Right. I don't do the reels. If I want to watch reels, I get them. on TikTok. <laughs> I know. So. And I try to stay off there because if I get on there, I'll be on there for two hours. Oh, dude. TikTok's oh. crazy. It's Man, the it most addicting social media platform I've ever encountered in my life. Yeah. It knows what I'm thinking. As soon as deer season started, it's like deer hunt video, deer hunt video, deer hunt video, deer hunt video. I'm like, oh, man. Dude, my what? girlfriend resisted it for so long. And then I finally like I was because she's like kind of she's not on Instagram and all that very much. And so she was on Pinterest all the time. But uh, 
when I finally got her down. I'm like, just download it. It's hilarious. And now I can't every single time I show her videos, I've already seen it. I've already seen it. Already seen it. I'm like, you're not allowed to be on TikTok why, for a week. Why would you push way? her into that into that that hole, that right. endless the hole? Black you're just like, hole. <laughs> it's like, yeah. why would you do that to your girlfriend? Don't, don't do know. that. She was bored. <laughs> Yeah, she's not bored to, anymore. I try not to be on TikTok, <laughs> but every time I post, I'll I'll be on it for like fifteen yep. minutes minimum. They are just like scrolling through the stupid very videos. Very good at I'm pulling like, you oh. in. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, guys, that is episode sixteen. That's the last episode of twenty twenty. Um, I'm glad we made it through this year. I'm excited for the next year. But like Brandon said, let's tiptoe in. Nobody cause a ruckus. We're going to try to just survive on 2021. But we are excited uh, to have you guys. And hopefully you continue to listen to us in January. You enjoy your holidays. Go build something. It's the Russian thing. They're like, you sissy and Americans. We ride reindeer. (laughs) 